good people of Key West, we are on this morning with two certifiable sailors on the Shauna Lee Lang Be Holy You Hour here Thursdays at 10 a.m. I tell you what, 26 feet, two guys, no experience, little to no preparation, taking it on a wing and a prayer. You can't do this alone. You can't do anything in life alone. They have some thank yous they want to put forth. Yeah, we talked about how the... the the universe has come to our aid and miraculous. The universe has been in the shape of a number of people. Uh, who have met through Craigslist. You, who are none the least of them, Shauna, thank you for having through us on Craigslist. here. Through um, Craigslist. We, when we were first, when I first got together on, on the mission in Sarasota, our, we found Sarasota Dale, who is so helpful through Craigslist. to us. And, uh, we met Scuba Mike through Craigslist and Gypsy Jen, who was a great supporter <laughs> through Craigslist. And uh, we continued on. We met a, a dear friend of ours who I believe is watching right now. We call him Doctor Zest. Doctor Zest. He's a brilliant, <laughs> wonderful supporter who uh, is a. He was a great encouragement to us immediately after we had our worst scolding by people who said we couldn't do it. A brilliant professor with. All the answers. And it's drzest.com. Um, he's a he's a wonderful guy. He's also a visual artist, and he's written a number of books. One of which is called "Living a Stress Free Life." And after that first day on the sea, uh, it, it, it seemed to be exactly the thing I needed to read, and I and I will be shortly. Um, certainly, that's been a great gift to us. Then we came we came here, and we're. We're so fortunate to run into uh, Drew Miller, who, Drew, who manages cigars. The, the Art Gone Wild Gallery. And I'm wearing the shirt right now. And for those of you who are watching... And this is um, Rupert, the ambassador of peace. And D, D. Arthur and Lisa, who are both wonderful, talented artists. And we encourage you guys here in, Art Gone in Key Wild. West to stop in there and see it for yourself. 619 Duval Street, Key West. So, and, and there's been other people and. uh you know, almost too numerous to mention. We just met um, uh, Captain um, Finn. Well, Captain Finbar and Admiral also, Finbar. Admiral Finbar and uh, uh, I'm sort of stumbling on Captain Outlandish. Yeah, Captain Outlandish. He's been great help, and a couple other guys too. We've we've really been fortunate, and it's been startling to me. I I came on saying, I want to support my friend's dream, I want to be with my friend, I want us to do this together, and, you know, with the ambition of, he had the ambition of filming everything, let's make it a show, and I'm like, sure, great, let's give it a try. But I had no idea the amount of support and excitement that it would generate, and it's been a pleasant, exciting surprise. Since this may very well be your last days on U.S. soil and you're getting ready to go to the great beyond, Havana, and then we'll be traveling international waters to Mexico. Um, and you did mention earlier that the President um, made some statements during his State of the Union address that you felt really uh, sort of characterized the day that we're living in. What is it that you want to say about our international relations with other countries, our ability to travel and sail, and our ability to educate people about the realities that exist there. Well, I have, I'm, I'm sailing to Havana, Cuba, and every American I've met along the way that I've told this to, I'm going to, I'm going to Cuba, I've had Americans say, oh, don't go to Cuba, they'll cut your liver out. Don't go to Cuba. There, there are nothing but bad news down there because they're commies. And then I've heard that Cubans are the most friendly people on earth and that once you go to Cuba, you'll never want to leave. And, and as a blue-collar worker, I'm, I'm Jimmy Sixpack. You know, I had this crazy dream to sail the seven seas, and I'm going to just buy a boat off Craigslist and do it. It would, it would just absolutely blow me away to think that by living the American dream, you know, I don't have the freedom to sail to the most logical and safest next port from Key West. Because on my way to the Panama Canal, the safest next step for me is Savannah. And, you know, I understand the, Cube, the Cuban embargo having a purpose back in the Cold War. 
but the Cold War was over 20 years ago. And I haven't met a single American voter yet that can give me a, a single reason why the embargo still exists. And I haven't met a single American voter yet who wouldn't immediately vote to end the embargo if they had that vote. And so, you know, as a person who's a dreamer and has always dreamed of being a hero and never found a cause to hero and champion, I can't believe that every American isn't asking the same question about our Cuban relationship. Uh, it, it sounds to me like it's just a, a, a massive, you know, hypocritical situation that we, we have this ridiculous embargo with Cuba. Yeah, and a massive, ridiculous, hypocritical situation that we have this ability as three American citizens to sit in this studio through guys' uh, great oversight and to be able to discuss the ridiculousness of these current situations. Um, we've got four more minutes until we go to break. And to take a trip that you know is maybe not sanctioned by your government is a courageous act. To take this trip when you're ill experienced and ill prepared is a courageous act. But for you both, it seems, in meeting with you and talking with you, it goes beyond courage. There's an element there that is something supernatural. Can you both address that a little bit? Uh, for, for me, this journey is a pretty much a promise that I made to the universe, uh, very much so a spiritual journey. I, not in the sense that I'm searching for the spirit, because I already found it, and when I found it is when I made that promise. And so I, for me, this is kind of like a promise fulfilled, and a promise that is bigger than me and bigger than the journey. And, and I, ha I have a strong feeling that, there's a, that, that there, there is a huge purpose to be revealed in this journey and that I am in the hands of something greater than myself. So I, I, I don't feel worried at all in terms of my safety. I don't feel worried at all in any sense except that if I you know, just need to have the courage to take the next step and uh, let the purpose reveal itself. Yeah, <clears throat> there's so many sayings that most of us would readily acknowledge as being true, and yet so often it's one thing to know something or to, to bow, nod our heads and say, oh yeah, that's right, but it's another to embrace it. Um, the idea that we're always getting ready to live is something that is, I've often thought about, um, you know, it seems like we're always getting ready to live. As soon as I do this, then, then we can do this, or... Um, as soon as I make a million dollars. You know, yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, for my... I've got, like I, you mentioned before, I've got a beautiful seven-year-old and four-year-old, so I certainly want to come back, and for, because I want to watch them and, and see them grow, and... and They're going to be so proud of you. And, and, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I, I just sent a note saying we're going to be out and the pirate ships are going to send us off with cannon fire and I'm just loving how that's going to be in their imaginations. What does your dad do for a living? A fireman. What does your dad do for a living? He's a pirate. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, those earlier when I was, I was actually quoting some lines from uh, President Obama's speech when, and even those things, you know, everyone stands up, everyone's clapping every three seconds. Well, yeah, we're standing up and clapping too, and we want to say, all right, we're, we're, we are going to take you seriously if the future is ours, if we do big things, if the idea of America endures, if our destiny remains our choice, you know, um, and our journey goes forward. So, yeah, it sounds, it, it's, it's either pie in the oh, sky wait, or it's wait, not. Wait, you missed this one. Go forth, Captain Usa, and sail to Cuba. <laughs> uh, quote unquote, <laughs> yeah. President Obama. Yeah, our destiny that one too. remains our choice. Come back after the break and learn more about this incredible adventure with Captain James Knoll and first mate Will O'Neill on the SV Shazam.